Hey everybody, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm just relaxing in my bed, so don't mind me. I was sitting here watching a YouTube video, and I was sitting here thinking about a lot of stuff. So I was watching um, one of these YouTubers that I was watching for for the last six years, and I kind of like what he said. He was like, what he's putting behind him as of right now, because we're in 2021, is everything that happened to him in the last two or three years. And I agree with him because I was like, yo, what am I putting behind me now that we're in the new year? I never talked about it with anybody. So I was talking to my sister the other night about what I was going to do. And it just dawned on me. I didn't even make no resolution. I didn't make anything. I was just going to continue to what I was doing before, which was keeping my health intact. I'm getting better with my weight loss journey, learning how to eat properly. I quit smoking and drinking as of last year in the summertime, right before my birthday. And I thought I needed to cope my situation, cope with my situation by smoking. I depended on that for so long. And y'all don't know, it was a crutch Everybody seen it for themselves, how bad my smoking was, and they was trying to give me advice, but you know, it wasn't working because at the end of the day, you're a grown person. I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do, but at the same time, it wouldn't hurt to take somebody's advice. So, like I said, what I wanted to do for 2021, continue on with taking care of myself, upgrade myself. Yes, it's a process. Things does not happen overnight things are not done within a month or two it takes time and i fully agree with what this guy was saying my attitude towards life is starting to um, become a little better my attitude towards food um is starting to become better my relationship with food is not what it used to be i was overindulgent in a lot of stuff and i didn't care um, i felt like nobody could tell me anything because at the end of the day, it's like, if you're not doing better than me, who are you to give me a, any advice or judge me? So I ignored everybody and what they were trying to say to me. So I said I wanted to start my own thing. So one day I was looking online to see what type of diets I can trust and um, try for the first two or three months. And kind of find out none of those was really working for me. I was really trying hard too. I gave myself maybe about 60 days. If the first two months the diet doesn't work on you and you don't see no process at all, get rid of that and go to something new. Always try something new that works for you because we all have different bodies, different health problems. My health problems is a little more severe, so me trying to get toned up, gain muscle, and lose this water weight, it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening for me the way I wanted. So I spoke to my doctor, I spoke to my diabetes education specialist, and she gave me some good valid points about what to do. To bump up my metabolism, I would have to eat every two hours, which I was doing. I started that in October. I didn't know if it was going to work for me, but I started to see a lot difference between October and now. So yeah, it worked for me very well. Started to put a lot of sugar away for me. I resort to spices i res resorted to a lot of water and put in spices in my water and put in lemons and limes in my water i wasn't all that thrilled about it at first because it was so horrible the taste was nasty but then i got used to it the more i kept forcing myself to drink it now everybody know i'm stubborn as hell Y'all know I'm not going to try nothing unless y'all try it and let me know if it's okay. If I try it and I don't like it, you're not going to see me try to indulge in it no time soon. I'm going to kick it to the curb. So I tried the spices, the turmeric. I put a lot of turmeric in my foods now. That is starting to do a lot of good for me. I started to use a lot of lemon sugar scrubs for my face as well as my body and put a lot of lemons in my diet. That's working for me very well. Honey, I put very little honey in everything that I drink and eat because it contained a lot of sugars. So I'm trying to balance my sugars very well because, mind you, I'm a type 2 diabetic and right now it's very hard to balance sugar. So the doctor said there's nothing wrong with having sugar. It's just how much sugar you put in your body that counts. So 
as far as drinking lemonade goes, juices goes, I cut all that down to just apple juice. If I have any sugar, it'd be apple and orange juice. I'm trying out the basic things. And another thing I wanted to put behind me was the bad people that was in my life. So I had a lot of toxic relationships, not just with men, but with friends and family. So I had to cut some people out of my life that was no good for me because they was actually poisoning my mind. They was poisoning my heart and they was actually making things not happen for me. Like they were screwing up everything that was going on in my life. So if I was concentrating on something and I went to accomplish something very well, like without a hitch, I would have to get away from certain peoples and do it all by myself. I never asked for help and I never tried to depend on anybody for help. So one of the things I wanted to do was accomplish my goal on going back to school, accomplish my goal on getting the job again. After I finished with my rehabilitation, I was going to go back to work. Then my health problems got a little worse. So that took a back seat, me looking for a job. So it's been about six, seven months now, and my rehabilitation is going well. Just because people don't see me doesn't mean I'm not doing good, doesn't mean what I'm trying to do is not happening. It's happening, but it's happening slow. And they say slow and steady wins a race, so don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to count me out or <clears throat> talk bad about me, talk about I'm never going to accomplish anything because you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> so another thing I wanted to do, <clears throat> I have big goals in my life. So starting my own empire, meaning going back to doing what I love, which is cooking, doing makeup and everything. I took a little time off because I was going through a lot of crazy stuff in my life. And I wanted to take a lot of toxic stuff out of my life as well because it was distracting me. And I had to admit one person distracted me from what I wanted to do because I was all about that person. I, It was like, to me, I felt like I had to talk to him. I had to see him as much as I could. And if I wasn't going to see him or talk to him, I was going to bug the fuck out. But then I realized if that person didn't want to be in my life anymore and he was fighting me so hard to stay out of my life, just like everybody else, I let him go. I'm learning how to let a lot of people go without fighting or arguing because it's not worth it. And two, I'm a damn good woman. Two, I'm a good ass friend. I'm a good ass um, family member. It was like, I know my worth. Okay. I have a lot of self love and self respect. And in no way, shape, or form was I going to lessen my worth or my value by being around somebody who didn't treat me right, who didn't love me and respect me, or didn't see me as a great fit in their life. And I'm not going to force somebody to even look at it that way. Because you could do what you want to do and have whoever you want in your life. Okay? Nobody could force anything or anyone to be in your life. I learned that the hard way. And yes, it kind of hurted my feelings because every day I thought about this and I let this really ride in the back of my mind. So now I completely threw that out of my mind right before 2021 came right before new year's eve the back of my mind i had so much stuff that was bothering me but in the front of my mind i was thinking of business i was thinking of money so while i'm sitting here trying to get my money situation together and doing things under the behind the scenes for nobody to see because i don't want nobody to witness anything that i'm doing right now because i don't need nobody to talk shit about me or judge me okay how i do things is different from how everybody do things so this is what I was planning on doing as of the year 2021 arrives. And then, like I said, I threw a lot of people out of my lives for really good reasons. I started to talk to the Lord more often. I started to look at scriptures and watch Christian videos and stuff. I put myself into a lot of programs online because it would do me some good and it would help me concentrate more. And even if it's tarot card readings, spiritual readings, you know, group spiritual readings, I would do that. And it kept me out of the streets. It kept me out of people's hairs. And now I'm starting to look at things a lot different and a lot better. So for me to upgrade myself, I had to value myself and 
show more self-love and be more selfish to me because nobody will ever do that for me. So that's just something I wanted to tell y'all about. And I wanted to let y'all know that a lot of things is going the way God wants it to go. It wasn't what I only want, but God is looking at what I want. And he's obviously showing me something different. And if what I was doing one way wasn't working, I'm going to have to do it his way. And that's all, you know, it's all happening right now. And within divine timing, I'm going to have my ships come in. I'm going to get exactly what I've been dreaming for for a long time. Whatever I've been praying for is going to happen. And I'm speaking into existence that I will be settled down. I will be accomplished. I will be financially stable and well off within maybe a couple of weeks to a month, maybe two or three months. Because as of right now, I'm already talking to some people. I'm already having conversations with people about what I want to do. And little did I know, there's a lot of people out here who want to talk to me about what I want to do and want to work with me. But like I say, they waiting for me to heal up and to get myself together for me to start everything. So I hope y'all like this. And like always, thank you for subscribing to me. Thank you for liking my videos and everything. Continue to like my videos. Share this with everybody that you know. And I will holler at y'all later.